Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Support and Save Thor News August One Crazy Summer Fundraiser Edition. End of the month. That's how we do it every month. That's how I've been doing it for three months. You guys continue to support me through your contributions and donations, and I continue to bring you the best news from the best channel in the universe. Now let's get to it. As this situation, which has just restarted, is getting a bit wild. It's wet and it's hot. That describes the United States right now. It's wet and it's hot. So we are back into a rainy pattern and this pattern is going to last about two more weeks as the tropical moisture and the Pacific moisture combined to bring a whole lot of rain to the east side of the United States. And, I don't know, it looks like Florida is getting a brunt of the nastiness. Quite a bit, I should say, and I'm saying it. Plus, the lightning situation is lit. Although, you're not as graphical as you should be. There you go. Looks like Florida is getting some major lightning as well. And we've got about 33,000 lightning strikes in the last two hours. So you know the storm is kicking. And our main man, the master, the king of weather Twitter, Cranky Weather Guy says, quite an upper level disturbance driving our inland portion of events this evening. Again, take the over on persistence for sucky radish modeling thereof. Out west, a decent piece of energy that pulls our tropical pipeline well northward on Wednesday. Could give rise to a decent low. Yeah, because when the Pacific moisture and the tropical moisture hook up, that's when it gets bad. We should have one around the 1st to the 3rd, and then another one on the 7th and the 8th, if you want to mark those dates down. <clears throat> well, people are like, hey, Thor, you're blowing us out of proportion. No, no, I'm not. I mean, I don't think I would have survived off contributions and donations if I had been seriously wrong for three years. But look at this. These are the wettest months ever, I believe. <clears throat> And so, you have multiple places in Pennsylvania and Maryland that have had their wettest months ever. And a lot of them are, you know, even 7th, 2nd, 9th, we're talking overall. So, that is some major news. And then, on the other side, you have just an incredible wildfire season going on in California and in the West, which is why we're keeping watch on the possibility of a volcano eruption somewhere in California or near, or near lower North Mexico, because the last time a volcano erupted was in, I think, 1913? Yeah. So, it is, it is a weird, wild situation. And, if you will see, the next 48 hours on the GFS model map, it says that it is going to get, it's just going to stay raining. It's going to stay looking like that. So that is pretty crazy. Looks like this area has the possibility of spinning up some tornadoes. So I'd keep your eye on that thing. And like we were saying, the Pennsylvania, this area has been hit hard already. And so this whole ground all the way up and down is just completely saturated. So we're going to have to be keeping our eye on this, which we are doing. Now we're looking at on the water vapor loop map, and it is messy. It is super messy. And watch how this moisture, look at that slow rotator, or just slow grower. Watch how the moisture is almost coming from South Pacific, trailing up straight into, up into Florida and over and see the problem is is that we're getting like a spring fall like jet stream pattern you've got a blocker indicator you know it kind of blocks right there right and so so when the pacific moisture comes over it gets pushed down and it goes around it comes back up so this is why this area needs to really watch out over the next two weeks. 
now we're taking a look at the action over Florida right now. And at one point, it's like almost all of Florida gets covered. Doesn't look like a lot of sun's making it into Florida today. The Sunshine State. Is that irony? I do not know. Someone call Alanis Morissette. Here's our two-week precipitation guess. And they usually undersell it. But notice the purples is five inches. And then the lighter colors are about 20. And a few things to note. One, they consistently say this area is going to get the heavier rain. And then I'm watching the monsoon totals, like I said, for the volcano stuff. And it's interesting to see some of these areas are predicted to get 10 or 20 inches of rain up into Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada. So we will continue to watch that situation. And now here, this is the water vapor. Watch how it all, and when we talk about the pulse, how nature pulses, but watch how towards the end it totally pulses up. It's like nothing, nothing, and then boom. And then the floor is covered. So watch how that's big, and then it kind of evaporates, but I think that'll regain once it gets back around. So we need to be watching the storm this evening. Here we have our precipitable water which is water willing to participate it has shark fins in it did you see that that is a scary weird thing because you know sharks may be cool and stuff but they're also very dangerous and you can just see we've got a lot of moisture up in the gulf luckily the coolness of the atlantic and uh, all the african dust coming off has been keeping our hurricane season in check so far so that is good news. This is today's map, which has changed a lot and only grown in size for precipitation. And then now we're looking at the whole world. And look at this thing, man. Look at the clouds, how they just kind of hang off. It almost looks like the entire ocean is covered. Not the, But look at that. Man, that is a ton of cloud cover. And then... Same thing is kind of happening down there. Yeah, but they're getting tons of rain. And so, this is our, get our right hook, our west, earn disturbance. See if that fills the gap. I'm talking about that gap there. If the two meet up, the storm could get worse, I think. And yeah, so those two disturbances are kicking it up. Highly recommend always reading cranky's blog he does stuff for today tomorrow and then later down the week absolutely amazing that cape hatteras may end up with its wettest month on record with virtually no direct or indirect contribution from tropical depression tropical storm or hurricane at yeah, 20 inches and uh, you know i think they'll get it with today's um, precipitation situation. So it's going to be wild and wacky. Here Craig is pointing out that the third is that the eighth. That's the third. Yeah, so the third and like the eighth are kind of our days to watch. If you want some cute, there's a little tiger under his tiger baby with tiger mama. They're adorable. And Ryan Maway is talking about how Spain and Portugal could be getting up to 113 degrees, which I'm pretty sure would break all records around there. So it's just like heat and rain records are being broken everywhere. And here's a storm from Colorado. The 29th. And look at that thing. That thing is a monster. Yeah, these are crazy days, man. Totally crazy days. Still watching for Comet C2017 S3, the Hulk. Pan stars. Last I heard, it was like a 6.5 magnitude. I think it only has to get to a 4.5 to be visible to the naked eye. It brightened and then got unbright and then brightened again. So we'll, we will be keeping our eye upon it. Yeah, this is the situation. Wait, where is that? Here? All right, let's go down the run through. 
if you don't mind. How are you guys doing today? Man, it's a crazy ass world, huh? I just want to say I love you guys and I appreciate you. Man, it's been like a roller coaster emotionally. Have you been feeling that too? I definitely have. So there's your Azores High. But watch how the rain pattern up the... That's just a weird rain pattern to me. And it seems to be putting a lot of moisture in the Gulf as well. And the whole thing is what these models usually do. They keep them green until the storm gets closer and then they start to fill in the colors. So it's going to be an interesting situation for sure. So East Coast, just be prepped. And West Coast, you guys be prepped too. Because the hot side is going to stay hot and the wet side is going to stay wet. Yeah, heat and wet. Heat and wet. Sometimes they can go good together. Not in this situation, man. Not in this situation. So, I will keep you guys up to date. I want to say just in case I don't make it, it has been fun. And it's been a wild adventure. And we've learned a lot. And we're all, all really cool. And we're all awesome. Yay! So I will talk to you guys probably in the very near future. Because I will be working nonstop, almost, for the next three or four days. Kick ass! I'm glad I got some sleep yesterday. Right, peace out, stay cool, and may all your dreams come true. At least the good ones. You can hit the button now.